What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 here bringing another Rad Movie Review. Today we're going to be talking about Dunkirk, Christopher Nolan's war epic film. I finally got a chance to check it out, so we're going to talk about it. Non-spoiler review. Roll it. So Dunkirk is about the 1940 evacuation of the British and French soldiers from the Dunkirk beach as they were pushed towards the beach by the German soldiers. And it's a really great epic piece, like very powerful in scope and like landscape. I really liked a lot of that stuff. So let's talk about the positives of this film. So right off the bat, one of the key awesome positives for me is this is a total this is a total experience film. It's not one that's going to ask a lot of you in terms of character and development investment or getting to know these characters. It's more about the experience and being there. And as we see three different perspectives throughout the film, it really assists in helping you put put you in that mode and that like that time period and like feeling the dread of like wanting to get off this beach and feeling scared like it's got really great like I said that feel of just an experience and that's why I liked it because it's not one that's gonna you know you care about the story or there's all these great dialogue or nothing like that it's not like that at all it's about the cinematography the shots it's about the feel of the film and being there and like the the music the score and the shots and cinematography all assist in putting you in that world and making you feel like just your hair stand on end sometimes like some of the music some of the way it was designed it felt almost like a horror movie or like you know some kind of scary thriller sometimes like it was that tense that scary at some points where you felt like you weren't going to get off this beach or you were going to die with these men like it's very scary in that aspect and I like that because it was tense and putting you in that world and it did Christopher Nolan did a great job of sucking us in and really putting us in there for sure we got some great actors in this film as well that do assist that really do assist in that character acting where they don't have a lot of dialogue but just the way they move the way they look and everything it's very natural we got Cillian Murphy in here Tom Hardy's in here Fionn Whitehead there's like I said a really good known cast that just they look the part and feel like these real people and that aspect of them being good character actors where they're able to do things without with their mannerisms and not really talking and giving dialogue all the time it's really good in that aspect and like I said, we follow three different perspectives. So one of our perspectives that we follow is an Air Force pilot. One of them is a commercial salesman who uses his boat to go help evacuate the people off the beach. And another one is kind of like a two perspective thing. It's a British and French soldier as they have to basically kind of team up towards the beginning of the movie to try to get off this beach as fast as they can because they know that they're all going to attack and most likely going to die if they stay there. Like the longer they're stuck on this beach, the closer the Germans get and the more chances that everybody's going to die. So it's really tense. Like I said, a film that just it the pace keeps on going. It really doesn't slow down. Like that's why I liked it, too, is like this is one where there isn't a lot of dialogue, but this movie is not slow at all. It is very fast paced. It keeps moving. And like I said, builds tension, which is certain small lines little scenes the way things are shot it builds tension and like Christopher Nolan does such a great job with this film like I I knew I was gonna like this film but I really didn't expect to love it this much and it's that experience that he did with just sucking us in and making us feel like we're there with so many beautiful shots and just these great tense scenes like oh it was it was really good I had a great time with this film for sure so let's get down to talking about the negatives of the film And for me, very few negatives, like, at all. Like, there's not at all. Like, if anything, I think negatives is maybe it could have been a little bit longer. I would have been even more invested if it was a little bit longer. This movie's under two hours. I could have stuck it out for a little bit longer, but it's still a really great experience. And the fact that there isn't no character development. Like, there is no dialogue. There's not really characters to care about where they have, like, names and you know them or anything like that. But... Like I said, that kind of goes along with just making you feel the experience and making you feel like it's a realistic thing. So it didn't really bother me, but I could see how those things would kind of be negatives towards this film. But everything else, I really thoroughly had a great time with this film. This is one of my favorite war epics. Like, I love 
Full Metal Jacket, Saving Private Ryan. Those are two of my favorite war films of all time. And this one came very, very close. Is in that top three spot with them. Is either number three or number two. This one climbed really high. I think it's an amazing war epic. And Christopher Nolan really brought his style and really delivered something that was just a straight up experience film. And I really like that about this film. That's why I had such a great time with it. So for me, in my book, Dunkirk's going to get a 9.5 out of 10. It scores really high up there. Like I said, I loved all those positive things about it. The only negatives is like I could have done with it being a little bit longer. And the fact that there isn't really a lot of dialogue. There's not a lot of character development or investment like that in this film. But like I said, I enjoyed for all the positives. It's a great experience film. Cinematography, music, the score perfection actors really good at doing their mannerisms and sucking you into this world making you feel like it's very realistic so dunkirk definitely let me know what you guys thought of the film if you've seen it already hit me up in the comments section and leave a like and subscribe to support the channel it definitely helps out and stick to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the videos that i'm going to be putting out have a safe and happy day guys peace out